All right, all right, all right, guys. I'm gonna play it. All right, the coffin of Andy and Laylee. 107 days. I checked. They actually did do this for 107 days. You know, I'm online. I'm on Twitter. I've seen some some interesting uh, opinions about this game that it might be controversial, which is perfect. Let's play it. I see everyone playing this game, and uh, yeah, I just want to make the judgments for myself. Let's go. All right. So all I know is it's about a brother and sister, and. That's literally it. That's all I know. Episode one, The Coffin. So there's two episodes out right now. Uh, Laylee, I don't want to. Well, I do. Just go over and... What? What is that? I don't know what that's trying to say. I... I, <laughs> I can't... I literally can't make out what that's trying to say. I thought she's your friend. Mom said you help me with anything. We'll get in trouble. Uh, good morning, Ashley. Ugh. As much as you love feeling sorry for yourself, it's time for a little interlude. It is titled, Find Nutrients to Not Die. Ready, set, go. Okay. The freezer is completely empty. What's wrong with our house? Junk and unpaid bills. They cannot be eaten. It's just some dirt. Bunch of rented movies. Okay. The balcony door is locked. You've been locked in here for months now. A lone trash bag, nothing worth mentioning is inside. Oh, this is our like little kitchen. Inside the cabinets is nothing. You're used to filling your stomach with water, but it's not enough. Your body demands sustenance. Okay, go go to Subway or something. Andrew is asleep. You can't eat him. Yeah, I don't think that's a good thing to do. Yeah, it's a... Why is that even an option? <laughs> I guess that's not. I said I can't. In the trash lie your hopes and dreams exactly where they belong. Yes, just like all of ours. Dirty laundry. There's an old drawing in the drawer. Andy and Lay Lay in the very, very quiet. I'm sorry, it's Andy and Lay Lay in the very, very quiet. The original, as your original vision clearly intended it. Your artistic capabilities have not increased since. All right, what are we looking for over here? Oh God, detergent drinking this? Oh God, no, we ain't even going close to that. <laughs> We didn't even go close to that. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I have still haven't forgotten what happened. Listen, if you know the BG Mike lore and how one time my channel almost got deleted like this close, then you know why I don't like laundry detergent. This is where you and your older uh, brother pile your trash. It's already been scavenged several times and it's truly and utterly exhausted as a food source. So wait, wait, whoa, what is that? Okay, so there's something. Why are they trapped in here? Got a can of tomatoes. Amazing, you should show that to your brother. All right, let's go. Since we know where he's at now, he's awake. You show him the tomato can. Ta-da! Uh, not the reaction that you were hoping for. I realize I'm kind of covering them. I wonder if we can fix this. Well, it's not ideal, but I guess we'll just deal with this. Um, Ta-da! We're not eating that. Huh? No, it's, uh, that's the very last thing that we have, Ashley. But you're complaining. You're energetic enough to go rummaging through our trash, so clearly you're not dying yet. Huh? How did you know uh, uh, it was in... Because I hid it there, away from you. Gasp! I live in a den of snakes! Uh, don't rile me up, you're making me hungry. Uh, do you know what would help with that, Andrew, my dear? No, put the tomatoes away somewhere. Put them on my mouth, I will. I can see that your heart is set on this. Fine, let's eat them, then screw our future selves. Time for you to go cook some tomatoes. So they're desperate for food? What in the world happened that caused this? Good day. Are you still alive in there? Hello? If you don't make a sound, I'll assume you're dead. And I won't bring you food uh, food for the dead. Oh, warden. Okay. Uh, you won't bring it to the living either. I'll take that as a yes. Still alive. And don't blame me for the delivery guy screwing up. Can't you go grab something from the store for us? Nah, not my job. I'll check on you again later. Bye. No, wait. Wait, come back. He doesn't. Gosh dang it. Okay, so I guess let's go back to cooking our tomatoes. You boil the canned tomatoes to make delicious boiled canned tomatoes. There's even a little bit of pepper left to season with. But, uh, this is some gourmet stuff right here. No salt, though. You use it all to spike your, uh, your water in order to avoid overhydrating yourself while drinking to fill your stomach. Uh, well, how is it? At this point, you could feed me a can of worms and I'd say it's the best thing I ever ate. Kissy. Listen. Ass is not that bad of a word. Kiss ass. There, I said it. Yeah, it's not that bad of a word. Yeah, I say ass now. No, I'm saying that's how hungry I am. 
It is in fact the moment that it, an ominous audio was sold to your eardrums. Are you kidding me? That neighbor is at it again? Want to go take a peek? Nope. But I'll come along if you do. Here, catch. Uh, got bal balcony key. Oh, this is the balcony. Oh, I realize this is like an RPG maker game, isn't it? Uh, I can't see a squat from here. You contemplate if you should take a leap of faith towards the neighbor's balcony. It's only the fourth floor. Don't you even think about it. He's no fun. I guess we'll have to set something up across. Okay. Okay, ashtray. That's probably not going to work. Maybe we've got to go back inside and get something. Dude, they could totally make that jump, though. But I guess it's kind of dangerous, huh? All right, what could we use? Wait, whose bedroom is this? Your parents have what on this bed? Oh crap, are you all right? These gosh dang DIY uh, shelves, I swear. Oh, okay, so we're not gonna use, oh wait, maybe. There we go, wooden plank. All right, so I knew we needed to get it from somewhere. Oh, how convenient. Oh. Oh, demons from heck. Hear my plea! Oh, the unholy ones, I come seeking your advice! What in the world are you doing in there? What am I doing wrong? Thought I was perfect. I knew I should have killed that guy when I had the chance. What do you make of that? Everybody needs a hobby, I guess. Forget this, it's almost time they let us watch TV. Let us watch TV? The remote is dead. Just push the buttons on the TV. What a pain. Fine, I'll fetch some batteries for you. Uh, I'll always have to do everything around here. Yeah, woe is you. It is. Oh, the clock? Hey, there we go. I know because I've done <laughs> I've done stuff like this all the time. Can't find some batteries? Just go find the nearest electronics. Oh, okay. So she's, she's like, I'm just going to push the buttons on the TV. And she's like, wait, you have the batteries, don't you? Nope, I've decided I'll hold on to them. We might need them later. For what exactly? What are you being difficult? To, why are you being difficult about this? I'm not. I'm taking on the Heroculin... Her, Hercules? Heric, Herculin <laughs> task of operating the TV myself. Whatever makes you happy, I guess. Thank you for tuning in. Today we share with you some joyous developments in regards to the tainted water situation. We're happy to announce that all the apartments to which the tainted water had been delivered had been secured. It's been three months since the first incident was discovered, and the death toll is now a comfy 53. No biggie. Oh wow, what kind of news station is this? And the quarantine period for those who are at risk has been extended by another two weeks. Again. And to our friends in quarantine, thank you for keeping your disgusting parasite infested bodies uh, far away from me. Sorry, uh, it's thank you for your continued consideration to the public safety. That's all for today. Cheers. I'm going to bed. You decide to do the same. Wait, Mom, where are you going? Uh, me and your father will stay- be staying at a hotel for a bit. I thought they said we should stay at home until I didn't drink anything. Mom, not booze, not dirty contaminated water, nothing. The only thing I've drank is some orange juice from my carton. Anyway, I'm gonna miss my bus. You and Andrew could join us later. Alright, this won't hurt a bit. The nurse sticks a needle in you. It hurts like a mother freaker. There we go. And now you. How long do we have to stay at home? The result for your blood work will be done tomorrow, and if everything is well, you're free to come and go as uh, you please after that. And if not, then you'll see what happens if not. That's all for now. Take care. Okay, so they've been quarantining, and that's why they, they're getting sent food and stuff. Stop calling me Ashley, please. If you need something, ask the workers there. I can't do anything for you. And I don't want to hear these lies about starving anymore. Why the hell would I lie about this? Listen, this new apartment is a bit of a fixer-upper, so I'm really busy. Besides, isn't Andrew there with you? What do you need me to pacify you for? You get to laze around all day doing nothing. I don't know what you've got to complain about. Anyway, I've got to go. Wait, why is your mom so mean? Please don't call anymore. I won't answer. Goodbye, Ashley. I'm sorry. Jeez, dude. After reminiscing all night, you wake up as one does. Instead of ru ruminating upon your misery, you decide to clean the house up a bit. Seriously, I don't think we've cleaned in ages. Oh, I gotta go get the mop. At least we know where it's at. Yay, we're cleaning now. What else is there to take care of? I don't know. Oh, laundry. Yay. I love cleaning. You returned all the books to the shelf. Now what else could you clean? Well, those floors are not clean. Oh, there's more laundry. 
Uh, you're cleaning? What a waste of energy. You're a waste of energy. Thanks. Just don't overdo it. Come to think of it, do we even have any detergent left? Uh, you will have to go check. Okay. Got detergent. Uh, Andrew's too exhausted to chat. Oh, wait. Do, you, uh, do I have to go do laundry? Where's the washing machine? I guess it's probably in the same room. Okay. You're feeling dizzy. Oh, she did. Dang it, Ashley. I told you not to overdo it. Good news, once again, some of you may have heard from your loved ones that there's been a supply shortages in the quarantine households. Well, boy, are we pleased to announce that that's all been taken care of. It has? Does it look like I'm eating right now? On that note, we'd like to remind you of all not to enter the contaminated apartments. Uh, no, your friends don't need anything from you. Everything is taken care of. Should you still feel the urge to help, the staff will be uh, administering bullets directly into your brain as a thank you. Well, how nice. I hope that clears things up a bit. Moving on to our next story, a brand new art museum will be... Okay, is this all like hallucinations or the news just really this insane right now? Hello, of course, what is it? The shift in the tone of his voice makes you strain your ears. No, go ahead. Okay, uh, so we don't know who's talking. They sound more and more upset. Uh, well, that's, I mean, I can't do anything about that. Or I can try talking to her, but, uh, I mean, I, yes, but that doesn't... I'm not angry, I'm just... No, I... Can you let me talk? The voice on the other end must have said no. It's increasingly loud, but you still can't make out all the words. Always about you, don't, Ashley, wait. Ashley and Ashley and the had time to think? Just can't anymore. So that's it then. Well, all right, I guess. What else is here to say? Uh, there to say, I'm sorry. Uh, although I really don't see why I should be held accountable before. Okay. Who was it? My ex-girlfriend, apparently. Oh, she dumped you? Why is that? Why, why do you think? How should I know? Maybe because you're a parasite-infested homebody that's apparently perma-quarantine? Or because she found someone new? It's been a few months, buddy. Or maybe she just didn't like you. Too much in the first place? Whatever you say, Ashley. That might have been something more tactful to say. Uh, whatever. You pretend to sleep until you really fall asleep again. Now you've been out for who knows how long. You figure you should check on your brother. Well, yeah, that was kind of mean, huh? Someone uh, from your apartment is getting hauled into an ambulance. Hey, me too! People are yelling from the windows and balconies. I need some help too! Please, I'm starving. Soon the ambulance leaves in a hurry. This is crazy. Color me surprised. They actually got that person some help. I figured they just let her die. Maybe she did die. She wasn't moving. As, as if they'd had the, their sirens blaring for a corpse. Then what do you suppose was her emergency? No idea. Nobody showed up when you fainted. Well, you did call for anyone. Or did you call for anyone? What do you think, dumb mate? <laughs> Wait, I say I, I, I could say that. <laughs> Look, I'm so used to censoring myself all the time, alright? I'm, I'm allowed to say a little bit of bad words sometimes, okay? Uh, I don't know. Maybe she went into labor or something. Yeah, maybe. Uh, you think they'd bring her food if I got pre- Nope. Let me finish. <laughs> yeah, yeah, please. Please finish that sentence. Uh, cause how else could you- <laughs> Okay. Yeah, how would you do that? Well, we do have that one charming fellow right next door. Over my dead body. He seemed a little off his rocker, so who knows, uh, he just might end you. Forget this. I mean, I get they're desperate, but jeez, dude. That's kind of insane, though. Well, excuse me the- Excuse the hell out of me for exploring my options here. That woman didn't look pregnant anyway. Whatever, it was just a thought. Jackass. You like to go after Andrew and tell him uh, it ain't no one, none of his dang business anyway, but you're just too exhausted. But after sleeping for a few hours or maybe a few days, who knows, you're fully revitalized and bursting with energy. Okay. Oh yeah, <laughs> bursting with energy. <laughs> bursting with energy. You silly lazy bones. What day is it? How long have you been locked in this apartment now? And where the hell does Andrew get the energy to make such noise? He's unscrewed the lock and is attempting to kick the door in or out, depending on your perspective. How many more times are you going to try that now? It's clearly barred from the other side now. What else am I supposed to do? If you don't stop banging on the door, I won't be bringing you any food tonight. 
You won't either way. He says the d delivery will be here in a matter of hours. But I guess you don't want anything. Yeah, that's right. So you better stop bang, bang, banging on the door or next time it'll be my banging your head against the wall. The man's footsteps fade away. Do you think they'll really get the, that delivery today? Like I didn't freak this up for nothing, did I? Uh, unlikely, though I guess we'll see. And see you did. That absolute nothing was del delivered. Jeez, why aren't they delivering the food? Talk about something. I got nothing. Try. So, parasites. It's been a few months. Are you feeling anything? Hunger. You think that something would be happening to us by now, but I haven't noticed anything. Yeah, so why don't they let them out at this point? That nurse never came back either. Like, uh, don't you want to monitor us? Who cares? Me, Ashley, I care. Well, I don't care, nor the care that you care. Aside from that, uh, the starving, it's not so bad here. Come again? Aside from starving, I like it here. Well, I don't. I want to jump off the balcony. Uh, I'll race you. I mean, uh, that's that's the kind of jokes you would make in this situation, like clearly. No, seriously, let's go. Uh, let's not though. I appreciate your eagerness to join me. It's a bit too romantic, so I'll pass. Excuse me? What, you don't see it? Just imagine hitting the ground together. And with such force, our bodies turn into the pile of gory mush, never to be separated. Our remains would get so tangled up, they'd have to bury us uh, together in the same coffin. Okay, all right, you, you get a little wild with these uh, visions now. Might as well, we've been confined together in this coffin front of an apartment for what feels like an eternity already. I'm not jumping off the balcony with you. Get your head checked. I should get my head checked? And no wonder your girlfriend dumps you if those are your plans for romance. Not romance, I said romantic. They're not the same thing. Romantic just means something is... Oh god, he's doing it again. I wish he'd just... Uh... You feel like you should check up on that. What the heck was that? Oh my... Oh god, he... He did it! You're a lot smaller than I imagined. I love it. It's better than I imagined. That's all I meant. Uh, what do you offer, human? Uh, I don't have much to give you right now, but if you help me get out of here, I can help you get anything you wish. Uh, is that no good? As you wish, human. Uh, perish. So, it's safe to say everybody's getting desperate around here. Darkness clogs your vision and you cannot see what's happening. He's dead. Okay. Well, what did you expect? Uh, so, am I delirious or did you see that, that too? Do we, uh, want to check on him? Well, at the very least, I want to turn off that CD player. That's what you're concerned about? I'm not listening to this for the rest of my life, Andrew. You make it sound like we're going to die any day now. Well, aren't we? Well, I'm not. There's got to be something this guy, uh, that we can eat. They're going to eat the guy. They're going to eat the guy. Okay, let's get in there. Can they just climb down those vines or something? Oh, we have to find something to break the window. Oh, the ashtray. That should work. That's a lot of meat, you think to yourself. What? Uh, out loud, apparently. What? <laughs> she just said it? That's a lot of meat. Though, I mean, it's still illegal if we didn't kill this guy. Uh, is what illegal? Well, you know, if uh, you want to eat him? Isn't that what you were insinuating? Nah, I was just making an observation. But we can't. If we do eat him, then that's it for us. There's no way we wouldn't get out, uh, caught once they finally let us out. I know, they would eat him and they would let them out the second it happened too. It's not like we killed the guy. Oh, how would they know that, though? I just think messing with the corpse is a crime, too. Well, I think they should look past it, given that there's nothing else to eat. Well, the staff here uh, admit that they didn't give us food, though. And before that, you're going to tell them a demon killed them. Really? That'll fly. Listen, you're overthinking the heck out of this. Are we doing this or not? Andrew, I'm expecting an answer. Yeah. All right, let's find something to butcher. They're really going to do it. Holy crap. Enough of that. How about check to see if he has any food, which he probably doesn't. Well, like, yeah, like, I think that's a normal thing to do if you get desperate, right? I mean, I personally have never been uh, actually starving, so, you know, you can't, I don't think you can actually say what you would do until you were in that situation. So you get the arms and I'll handle the legs. First you chop off the cultists. Does it matter? No, it's actually, yes, it does. It, that's it, the most important part of the story. We can't carry him out in the open like this. Just be quick about it. Uh, no, can't you go get some plastic bags or something? I'll take care of the rest. In the meanwhile, I guess I'm counting on you, Andy. Don't call me that. You hand him the cleaver. 
Did you say, oh, okay. We're playing as the sisters. I was like, wait, what do you mean him? I'll get it done, all right? Just go get the bags. Oh, um, stay and watch. I'll watch. Thank you very much. Why don't you trust me? Boy, are you being a little B today? Just let me watch, all right? Okay, then. Andrew readies himself. Okay, is he gonna do it? Oh, he's doing it. Yep. Oh my god, what are we doing? Go, Andy. Go, Andy. Go. Why is she like... Why is she so excited for this? Shut the freak up, you basket case. All right, the warden might hear. Uh, well, that and whatever. Better hurry up, son. Uh, wait, soon or son? <laughs> it's just meat. I, I don't know what that said. It's just some meat. Are you drooling? I'm hungry, all right? You're gross. Go get the plastic bags already. Leave it to me. Yeah, they have done, they have done going crazy. All right, plastic bags would be, I mean, normally I'd check the kitchen, but I already did it. It's nothing there. Oh, there we go. Got left arm. Oh, we're just like collecting it all. A small problem presents itself. The plastic bags aren't big enough to fit the whole torso in them. Crap, I don't think we can cut to the spine either. Just fold them over. I don't think that's going to work. Watch and learn. Yeah, see if anyone happens to be looking out their window, it'll be a disaster. Maybe if I use two bags. Listen, this isn't going to... Ta-da! It's just weird to have happy music over this. Uh, no, don't make me laugh at this. I don't have the power to make you do anything, Andrew. All right, all right, enough. Gather the limbs up and there should be plenty enough room for them in our freezer. I'll stuff the torso and head in the, the head in the freezer for now. Then I'll go cook us something while you're at it. Yeah, you'll cook quite the something. Okay, we're putting it in the freezer. Which one do you want to eat? The arm, why not? You fry some meat. Dinner's ready. Uh, right, so what are we having here? Pure deliciousness is what. Eat up. You first. Oh gosh, she's just going for it. You already, uh, eat Andrew. You will not waste this. Right. Andrew takes a bite out of your cooking. So the thing about this, what I've heard, what I've heard, I don't know if it's true because obviously I ain't ever gonna try it. Like something about human meat actually will make you crazy eating it. I'm pretty sure. Like you can actually go insane, and there's some, there's a reason for that. Yeah, it's like mad cow disease or something like that. Yeah. Andrew takes a bite out of your your cooking. I don't think he likes it. He begins retching. No, you don't. Swallow. All of it. Well, you can't blame him. But seriously, what if they get saved like immediately after this though? That's like what would make you feel terrible. Well, how is it? But she looks like she's enjoying this too much. It's... God, I hate picky eaters. I made this with love. So you're not leaving the table before you lick the plate clean. Quit your nagging, woman. Then quit your gagging, you big baby. I'll eat her, right? Just give me a minute. Yeah, you couldn't help him. Not wanting to. Good boy, I'm so proud. Just freak off, Ashley. Uh, what an odd way to say thank you. Yeah, thanks a bunch. I'll clear the table, so leave me alone. We've got a very limited set of spices left, but what do you think I should try next? I don't know, maybe coriander? I'll try that tomorrow then. I'm off to bed now. Night, night. Uh, good night. You fall asleep fully content with your life decisions. She said she likes you. Who? My friend from school. Or at least I thought that she was a friend. So are you going to be her boyfriend? Gross, no. I should teach her a lesson. You're my brother, mine. I'll make her think twice before stealing from another woman. Oh yeah, you're a girl too. Uh, what's that supposed to mean? Someone you don't count as a lady in mind. In my mind, or as a person for that matter. Screw you, I'm the most personist lady in the world. So anyway, uh, so anyway I'm going to take her to the old warehouse and lock her in one of the crates. Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah, I believe she'll do it. Mom gave me some money to go buy groceries. Are you coming with? Focus, Andy. Let's leave her sitting there all night. That'll show her. Let's not. You should go and ask her to hang out. She won't say no then. Lately, I don't want to. Just go over and ask her to come with you. Take her to the warehouse and we'll see what happens. Come on. Mom said you'd help me with anything. I thought she was your friend. Well, I thought so too. She could be my friend again afterwards. She just needs a reminder on how to do it proper. Well, get in trouble. I'll only let her out when she promises not to tell on us. Uh, do it, Andy. I guess. You're the best. Today's episode is titled Andy and Laylee the Bee in a Box. Uh, one day you'll be a bee in a box and your friends will take turns pissing on the ground above. Well, what do I do about these hussies around you? Where do you learn these words? <laughs> the bee is you. 
I'll take you out to play, and when I'm done, it's back into the box with you. I really ought to kick your freaking butt. <laughs> One of these days. Bad words, guys. Don't be saying those bad words. What is taking him? He wouldn't have forgotten our plans, would he? Bro, well, get this sister out of here. She's clearly freaking crazy. Finally, uh, what are you doing here? Surprise, I want to hang out too. I mean, I guess that's fine. Did you tell your mom you're here? No, why? Just wondering. I mean, I'm surprised she's let you come out and hang out with a boy. No way, she thinks I went to study with Julia. But why are you here, Ashley? Divine intervention. What does that even mean? It means she's full of crap, don't listen. So are we going inside or what? Is that allowed? I'll allow it. Let's find a way in right now. Uh, why did they nail this metal sheet to the wall? Looks like there's a hole behind it. Tear it open. Uh, I can't do that. It's okay, I won't tell anyone. As then, I literally can't do it. Uh, not without some tools at least. Even though it's this flimsy. Yes. I like smart guys over beefy ones. Who asked? Hey, you don't, you don't realize your life is on the line right now. Oh, there's a hammer right there. Use the back of the hammer to pull out the nails. Oh, wow. Sure is uh, kind of dusty in here. Makes me worry about my asthma. It's fine. It's fine. Oh, I know. How about some hide and seek? You're such a kid. Uh, Andy wants to play too. You do? Sure. See? Well, I mean, it's fun every once in a while. You totally wanted to play too, you child. I'll be it. I'm going to count it to 10. Count to 100 at least. Okay. One, two... Uh, let's find a good box to shove her in. You still want to do that? Of course, she said no one knows she's here. This is perfect. Laylee, you promised. Now hurry up before she's done counting. Well, it seems like the brother has some sense, but he doesn't uh, want to use it. Oh, this will do. There isn't any lock on it, though. Well, we don't actually want to lock her in. Uh, the hell we don't. Uh, place a stick or something between the rings. That'll keep it closed. Won't the stick just break? Uh, no. Well, if she's uh, hunched inside, I doubt she'll have the leverage to. Ready or not, here I come. Oh crap, she counts too fast. It wasn't that fast, really. Let's hide. Okay, we gotta find a place to hide. What about here? Uh, where do we get a stick anyway? Andy picks up whatever wooden debris is at his feet. I guess this'll do. Uh, well, what do you think? Is she pretty? The stick? <laughs> no, you... you <clears throat> Who do you think? Uh, she's fine, I guess. Seriously, why is she so obsessed with the brother? I know that that's like a trope <clears throat> in, in things. But like, why why is she so obsessed? Found you! <clears throat> Excuse me. Both of you. Who hides in the same spot, idiots? Uh, it was my spot first, then you're it. No way, Andy stole my spot, so he's it. Yes, I'll go count. Andy goes to count. Uh, my hiding spots are the best. I already I know a really good one for you. Come take a look. Don't listen to her. Stop. I uh, think you'll fit in here. Seems like a bad idea. How so? I'm gonna get my clothes dirty. Who cares? My mom does. She'll get mad if I... 100! Oh shoot, he's coming. Hurry! Okay. Hastily, your friend hops inside. Uh, what was that? I got you now. It's too weak to throw you off the lid. Uh, this isn't funny, Ashley. Let me out. Yeah, she has a asthma too. This isn't going to be good. There you are, Andy, you slowpoke. Hurry up, she's putting up a fight. I can't breathe. Is she alright? Please, I... Shut up already, you drama queen. Let her out, Laylee. She's just pretending. No one's ever died from some dust. I think literally you can if you have asthma, right? Probably. Just let her out. Uh, you believe her over me? It's not really about whether I believe her or not. Fine, you let her out. Then who cares about me anyway? Everyone likes her better. Bet you like her better, too. Bet everyone does. I already know. I bet you'd rather have a girlfriend than spend time with me. Of course you would. Come on. I already told you I don't want... And, uh... And bet... Oh, she's crying now. Bet you only hang out with me because mom told you to. Well, that's... I mean, maybe she did, but... It's not fair. Why does everyone like her better? I'm loud and weird and annoying and no one likes me at all. I like you better lately. Prove it, liar. I knew it. Maybe you would have more friends if you weren't always so. Not even my own brother picks me over her. I knew it already. Did I not just say? Uh, la 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 la. Talk sure is cheap. Oh no, don't do it. Don't do it. Are you happy now? It's not worth it. Just until morning, okay? Uh, you're the best. I like you the best. 
She's already not talking. You hear that? You get to stay here until, until morning. No, please, Ashley. Let me out, please. Wait, don't. Dang, man. That's messed up. Are you awake? They, you know, maybe they kind of deserve what they're going through, you know? After that, that's pretty crazy. I am now. Um, okay. What is it? Nothing, it's just... What did we do? You're still on about dinner? Fine, just starve then. More for me. How are you like this? Are you out of your mind? Listen, I didn't kill the guy, so I didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> we ate him! What else were we supposed to do? Call the warden to let him know he died? Yes, um, sir, he summoned a demon and then we died? I swear we didn't do it. Yeah, uh, I, we wouldn't have to admit we were there. We would we could have just told him to go check on the guy. Uh, Andrew, what the hell? Uh, what? Didn't we both agree on this? I could have sworn it was your suggested in the first place. I was too hungry to think straight, okay? Now that's some bullcrap, but fine, let's assume it was so. Uh, what do you want me to do about it? You know what I would have done? They could have literally just like say that he died, right? Uh, but break in there and hide when they come in, freaking run. Just run out the door. I mean, I would have considered that first before, you know, decided to eat the guy. You know what I mean? I feel like that would have been more logical. Okay, there goes my magic wand. There, I've absolved you of your sins. You never uh, took a bite now. You're welcome. Well, gee, thanks. We'll see how that holds in the face of the law. Listen, who cares? Isn't this like some extreme circumstances stuff? Like we can't be excused, it's just the water company's fault. First they lock us in for months and then they won't uh, even feed us. Uh, and is cabin fever a real thing? Maybe we can plead insanity. I don't know, Ashley. Is can I think cabin fever is real. I'm gonna Google it. I, that's all I'm gonna do. So basically, cabin fever is just when you, st uh, if you're like, yeah, if you're ever trapped somewhere, but if you're staying inside for a long period of time, you know, there's not a change in scenery, you're not going outside. Uh, so it's like, it's not an official, like, illness, but it's something that is, seems pretty dang real. So basically, it causes you to act irrational. Uh, there, there. You know, I couldn't get this, his head off. Like, he didn't fit in the freezer proper, so I needed to chop off his head off, but I couldn't cut it. His spine was too, anyway, I kind of just, like, kept cutting around it, then pulled it off. Like some plant, I don't know. I keep thinking about it. Yeah, like anyone in their, that was in their right mind, except for your sister, uh, would be very guilty and, yeah. I can't sleep, Ashley, it's... Come here. I don't know what's wrong with you. How are you so unbothered? I don't know, I comp- I can't say that word. Comp- <laughs> Compartmentalize, there we go. Kinda like we carp- comp <laughs> Dang it! Don't give it to me again! Kinda like we compartmentalize that guy into different freezers. Ashley, Andrew, uh, what is it, Andrew? Andrew, Andrew, Andy, A. I told you to stop calling me that. We're not kids anymore. Then why are you crying like such a baby? I'm not crying. Wow, wow, mommy, the big bad did me did the evil thing. You shut your whore mouth. <laughs> Make me, you little. <laughs> Forget this. Hey, Andy, remember when we used to go on adventures? Uh, Andy and Lele's quest for some- You mean to kill people? I still need to know what happened. Why bring this up? Is this just another one of those? I don't know. Can't you just play along for now? Until we're out of this crappy situation, then we can unpack it all later. Or not, I don't think I will personally. But you can go to therapy. Like I could tell a therapist what I've been up to. Uh, alright, just a thought. Let's just get out of here. Like we should have done months ago. Now that we've got food, don't you want to keep waiting until they let us out? Uh, no I don't. They throw us in jail right after. And if I don't know which is worse, withering in this coffin or a house of, uh, or getting <laughs> Okay. Uh, so you don't want to escape not only this quarantine, but the consequences of our actions as well. Uh, preferably, yeah. This episode is titled Andy and Lele and the escape from the coffin. Yeah, whatever. So the coffin, just, it's just the apartment. I got it now. That's the name, right? I'm going to sleep now. Good night. Sleep tight. I'll try. Good night. I love you, Andy. Shove that Andy junk up your... Why? Well, why do I hesitate? <laughs> it's not that bad of a word. Shove it up. Yay, so rainy. <laughs> My god, I don't love you that much. Uh, you make me want to... Uh... Nothing. Too bad diving down the balcony is just so romantic for you. A pillow hits you in the face so hard you see stars. Your body has absorbed some delicious nutrients and you're feeling mighty better today. Oh wait, what the heck was this? Awaiting the arrival back at the cultist lair, Andy. 
I knew he'd come around. Hey there. Good morning. What you up to? I'm looking at this demon summoning thingy. Brave, given things turned out so well for that cultist guy. Debatable. I mean, he was successful up to the point he lacked an offering. It says here that demons don't think much of humans. Well, that's good. We'll have something in common then. Yeah, so they're not only willing to do business as long as it's quick and easy for them. Uh, I'll, I take it that you want to ask one to get us out of here? Well, I wouldn't want to get out of here the same way the cultists did, but I do think that it's our best bet for now. So what do, we, what do we ask for it? I don't know yet. Then what will we bargain with? I don't know that either. Nice. I just barely woke up. Give me a minute. It says here that demons prefer human souls, so obviously it's got to be that. Uh, where to get a soul while stuck in here? What are you looking at? Nothing. What? I wouldn't. Uh, thought about it, I see. Let me keep my own thoughts, don't we? Already share enough. On second thought, let's not do this. Come on, I'm not gonna sacrifice you. We'll figure something out. Let's just get the ritual up for now. Dude, I- or set the ritual up. I wouldn't trust her. Mm -mm. I'm not done reading this yet, but you can start by replacing the candles for now. Guys, I don't think this is a good idea. Nope. No siree. Should probably just stop now, but they just keep making very bad decisions. Okay, so what now? Oh no. Still alive, you kicking, are you? Uh-oh. You've been quiet lately, pal. I'm getting a little worried there. Uh, oh, hi, hello. One of my guys isn't answering. The, the weirdo one. I bet he croaked, but he's just a B-type anyway. A B-type? I'll check uh, it after my round. The warden's footsteps move away from the door. Why are they keeping them in here like this? Is that all? We would have just had to get the door open to shut up for two days? Oh, crap. He's going to come in and see all this? So yeah, like that's what I'm saying like they they could have just came up with a better plan But maybe they're not thinking straight, you know go stall him at our door I'll clean this up. He's still gonna find the guy missing until he checks the freezer Which is all uh, this blood is pointing at no before he notices uh, Go before he notices we're not home and keep him until I've mopped all this blood Maybe then he'll assume the guy jumped off the balcony or something. Well, there would be a, a corpse below you get to be the corpse if you don't <laughs> you don't go already. No, no, listen, it'll be a trade. I told you I'm not interested. I got some good books in here. I'm sure you'd like to read them while you... Oh, God, he's saying some wild stuff. No, I thought it, you said it's a fine literature. Yeah, it's real fine. Like how? You have to see for yourself. I'll trade one book for a pack of noodles. We'll exchange them via the mail slot. But maybe it's a genre I don't like. But read me a sample. Like heck I would. Did you want me to uh, get in character too? I don't want to go into this blind. Who knows what kind of crap you're reading? It's just one pack of noodles. Don't be such a coward. Actually, I think each book is worth one of these multi-packs at least. Why is it that you're always such a problem? One book for a pack of noodles. One tin packs. Push them in one by one, then you'll get the book. Listen here, I'm the one holding all the cards here, so I decide what... That's pointless negation. The pointless no negotiations go on and on. Oh, I'm supposed to be cleaning. Alright, mop time. Actually, the warden is coming. Oh god. Oh, what are you doing here? Oh shoot. Sally, the warden, soon calls over his buddy. You get taken back to your apartment, which after you and your brother's wicked deeds are soon discovered. Guess what? It went so badly for you that I'm going to let you try again. Oh, I did something bad? I'll have to hide then. Wait, where do we hide? The oven? <laughs> like, I, don't, I really don't know where to hide. Oh, the closet. Greetings and salutations. Huh? Anyone home? Oh great, another... Ow, sorry, I hit my mic. What the? How did you get in here? Oh, dang. You know what though? Like, like honestly, I can't blame her for doing something like that. She crazy though. Like, but I'm just saying like, they're literally trying to kill them. Like really, they're, they're gonna die if they don't leave, so. Oh, wait, he, oh, I, I, for some reason I thought it was Ashley. He did it. Andrew doesn't seem too pleased with you right now. You wonder if it's too good to tell, a uh, good time to tell him none of this is your fault. Come on then, Lele, let's go play. Sheesh, I thought I got caught there. You did. Happens to the best of us. Wait, they can't just leave? Of course, well, he has to have keys, right? Okay, you've actually killed a man, like, directly. Yep. Uh, I was a little surprised there. So, where's your mental breakdown? I'm saving it for later. Lay off. We'll see how you sleep after this one, huh? I'm not in the mood for your crap right now. Alright. Looky here. Oh, got the key to 405. At last, you unlock the door and... Before we go, Ashley. 
I just want to make sure we're on the same page about something. Whatever excuse we had for eating that other guy just went out the window because of your screw up. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I uh, ask you to kill him? Uh, what do you think was going to happen if I didn't? Look, I'm not saying I'm not grateful, Andrew. I am. But what's your point? My point is that no matter what happens beyond this door, you won't speak a word of what we went down there to anyone. Yeah, obviously. And it'll no doubt be obvious that we did something once this guy shifts ends and the next warden comes looking around. It's best we disappear while we can. Well, as you might have noticed, I'm trying. Yeah, see, I'm not so sure you're grasping the gravity of our situation here. Knowing uh, you think that you're going to find mom and dad, I'm saying all of this is off the table. I hadn't planned on anything yet, actually. God, that's even worse. Okay, so you want me to never contact anyone I know ever again. Because you think they'll snitch on us to the authorities, is that it? Exactly! Fine, whatever. If you're going to be this flippant about this, it isn't the authorities you need to worry about. What's that supposed to mean? Are you threatening me? I'm not going to jail just because you think of yourself as impervious to consequences. So you're going to take this to your grave even if I have to put you there myself. Dang, is he like, he's serious then. You don't scare me, Andrew. Don't give me a reason to. Andy, it snows in hell the day I'm afraid of you. Now back the freak off, who do you think you're talking to? It's, I'm stressed out lately. Yeah, I can see that. I need to know you're taking this seriously. There's half of a dead guy in our freezer with the fingerprints, with fingerprints all over it. Trust me, I'm in no hurry to tell the world about it. Uh, all good? Can we go now? Yeah, I guess. Finally. Though, Andy, what? Don't give, I don't give a rat's ass about mom or dad or any of my so-called friends anymore. Not one of them felt it's necessary to even answer my calls or come fling food up our balcony. Would be quite the feat to throw something so high. The point is no one even came to try, so my affections officially died with all the brain cells that I lost while starving. But it's alright because Andy's here with me, even though he feels like uh, threatening me for some reason. Sorry, I guess I lost brain cells too. Can't lose what you don't have. Ah, oh, screw off. <laughs> alright, uh, let's get it the heck out of here already. Oh. Uh, oh, a key. It's a 302. They got a little surveillance camera. Oh, crap, are we on it? Looks like it's recording the second floor. Let me see. Great, there's another warden there. Is that a gun holster? Did the warden we kill have one? Let's shoot this guy. Nope, he had a key to the cultist room in walkie-talkie. I think there's a warden on every floor. Nah, they probably would, would work in pairs of two. It's not like they have anything to, uh, else to keep curious people away. And pretend to feed us, I guess. Well, even then, how are we getting around him? Don't ask me. There's a key here. Fourth floor key. I know, okay. There's a lot of notes. Okay, they have some weird writing on there. And what's up with this writing here? What's the symbol doing here? Okay, let's go to third floor. Oh, what the heck? Who are you? Hey, hold up! Don't you dare come any closer. Who are you? Your neighbor's from upstairs. What are you doing here? Get out. Well, we found the keys and thought you might want to get out of here. You thought wrong. Get lost. Huh? Uh, what don't you understand? You don't want to get out of here? That's what I said. Why would I want out? I get free food and I can play games all day long. Why does she get food? I'll live like a king. I hope this quarantine never ends. Wait, they actually bring you food? Of course, literally anything I want, all you gotta do is ask nicely. Like, bend over and open wide nicely. Ashley. Screw off, get uh, get out, both of you. Okay, I gotta fill in, uh... She doing more... Stuff to get some favors like that. Just saying, like, how else would she get it? Well, that was something. Uh, how can we get such different treatment? Why don't I get food? Guess you're not pretty enough. You think she's pretty? Oh god, not this again. Wasn't she? Whatever. It's okay to leave her out there after you saw us though? Probably not, but you go in there swinging your cleaver and she'll definitely scream. Then the second warden comes in and shoots us. This is so hopeless. I think our best bet is to finish the ritual and use it to get rid of the second warden. Well, if we can get this woman up to the cultist room, we've got us a soul to offer. Are they really- is this really the plan? Not just sneak out? <laughs> Okay, so are they are they really gonna do that though? Beats me. Let's uh, let's just finish setting up the ritual for now. This is dumb. Do you really think I'm not pretty enough? Come on. So ugly am I that I shouldn't even be fed? All right, he just say, he says some wild stuff again that I uh, I can't show. Oh uh, yeah, okay, fair point. I wouldn't let them anyway. Go to fourth floor. Okay. Okay, so we got the walkie-talkie. 
Useless. I don't know. At least we'll hear if the wor other word uh, tries to contact this one, which then indicates time is running out for us. Big deal. At that point, we're screwed anyway. Hey, what if we call the warden over this and have the demon eat his soul? That's not a bad idea, actually. Two birds with one stone. They'll all come in guns blazing. Right. Let me think. Well, while you're at it, I'll ready the ritual for us. What do I need to do? I don't know. Check the guidebook. Draw some runes on the floor of blood. Not sure what the runes, though. Uh, I'll just redraw what the guy had already drawn. Okay. I have an idea. Let's uh, have the lady from downstairs lure the warden up here with the walkie-talkie. And uh, how are we going to make her do that? You know how. All right, let's go convince her. Or was there something else that still needed to be set up? Just lighting the candles and turning on the audio, but I think it's best to do that once the warden is on his way. Yeah, I don't want to keep the demon waiting. Okay, so they're going to try to sacrifice her. You two again? Sorry, there's one last thing we forgot to ask you. What, I thought I made myself clear. Uh, what do you want? Hey, get off of me! What's gonna happen now is that you're going to coo into this walkie-talkie. Tell them that you and his friend are looking for a good time up in room 405. I don't understand. You only need to understand we'll slit your throat if you don't play nice. Please, I'll do it. I'll tell him anything. We'll see. Hello? Who's there? Hi, Dave. It's me. Where's Malcolm? Malcolm's here with me in room 405. Did you, uh, care for a quick visit? A quick visit, huh? I mean, if you want to have a good time, that is. Well, I'll be, uh, I'm always up for a good time, if you know what I mean. See, I told you. I knew that that's what she was doing. I knew exactly. Was it room 405? I guess that weirdo really croaked. Uh, nothing. I'll be right there, sweet cheeks. You cut the conversation. All right, let's go. I let go of her now, and what do you think that she'll do? I won't do anything, I promise. Go finish it. I'll keep her quiet until it's done. Wait, uh, go, get going. Fine. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Lele, catch. A lighter. Oh, for the candles, I'm assuming. Okay. Oh, something's here. Who are you? I can't see. You were asking me my name, human? Uh, what do you offer? Yikes, did I mess up? I don't want to pay for its name. I'm here. It's kind of dark, huh? I'm not doing anything with this kind of music on Let's... <laughs> the music. Shock, the warden reaches for his gun. Him, I offer him! What the? Uh. So, uh, how is it? Human with a colored soul, I give you hit this. Got an identifiable small object. Hold it for an occasion, clairvoyant dream. An occasional. To guide the troubles ahead. Thank you. The entity has left. And you're still alive, unlike the other wardens. Man, that all happened way too fast. In the end, I didn't get its name, nor did ask for a favor. It just did whatever it wanted. It definitely gave uh, me whatever trash was laying around its demon pockets. But no matter, uh, the warden is dead, and if I have even one clairvoyant dream, that'll be cool as heck. Uh, you decide not to linger on the fact that your soul is apparently a vicious pitch black mess. Guess you already knew that. Got a gun! Nice! And the key! I'll probably shoot the lady, though. Okay, so that's why they couldn't just escape. They couldn't get to the second floor. <gasps> why did he do that? I guess they were gonna... Oh, God. What happened here? She tried to shoot me with a nail gun. How on earth I thought you... Oh, yeah, like, what? <laughs> well, I let go. Why? You were taking a while. I figured she wouldn't start anything as long as I had my cleaver. Lesson learned. How interesting. That you'd want to take your chances with that. For no reason. What are you getting at? She did say- you did say she was pretty. Ugh. I didn't try anything with her. Yeah, and here I was wondering why you insisted on staying behind. Are you unaware that the lady's dead right now? I guess she said no. Screw you, Ashley. I almost got shot too. That's your own fault for letting her go. God, I can't believe what a dumbass you are when it comes to women. For the last time, I wasn't trying to get with her. And even if I had, which I didn't, so what? She's dead now. Okay, that's fine. Ma that makes it fine then. Good to know. God, I hate it when you get like this. What's your problem? Every time. Every time, indeed. Every time some floozy comes around. Yeah, I'm not cel- I'm not celibate. What is it to you? It's always the same with you. Not now. Not true. Yeah, it is. Now, it's definitely not the time for this. I just need to get you- I just need you to get your priorities straight. My priority right now is getting out of here. Your priority should be me! Blow it out of your butt! I'm not having this argument here of all places. No, shut up. I didn't do that stuff with the neighbor lady. And on that note, will you back the freak off of my love life, Ashley? What's that supposed to mean? 
I don't know. It's not like my girlfriend dumped me after you harassed the hell out of her or something. What? She told you? What a tattletale. You're better off without the loose- Oh my gosh, she's so mean. So it really was you. Yeah, all I did was weed uh, out a quarter- a quitter for you. You're welcome. So she got her girlfriend, his girlfriend to break up with them. That's crazy. And I wouldn't harass anyone if you'd stop ignoring me when I need you. You always need something. You always have some bullcrap crisis the moment I'm supposed to meet up with someone. Bet you bloody love it here, uh, where I can't as much take a piss without you knowing. Uh, and I bet uh, you love it if I... Uh... Uh, not alive. <laughs> Where'd that come from? I, uh, what? That's a primary example of j you, just you. You would, you would. I know it already. I'm right where you want me, huh? I'll do it then. I can do it just for you. I, just the thing for that. Back at your beck and call, just like it was back when... No, screw you, Andrew. Don't act like I'm the bad guy here. Th they're both the bad guys here. Kind of. Like, yeah, I would say yes. I mean, they did kill that innocent lady. I never once made you to do anything, but it's always, I don't want to, I don't want to with you. Well, answer me this. What do you want then? Well, see, if you have listened to a word I said, you know why. Why don't you want to spend time with me anymore? I've done nothing but spend time with you this past three months. Dang, three months. So why aren't we friends anymore? Of course we are. Just forget this. Can we just go? Just what? Go. No, answer me. What were you about to say? Stay then, I'm going. Oh, no you don't. What's so bad about me? I've been looking out for you, isn't that what siblings do? Just stop. What, talk to me. It's not my fault. I didn't lock us in here. I didn't kill the cultist, I didn't kill the warden. Which one? Neither you did, and the demon. I'm all innocent, I've uh, not harmed a single soul. Of course not, you make me do it for you. I didn't make you do crap, Andrew. You chopped the bastard up all, all by yourself, and you chose to do everything you've done here. And guess what, Andy? Don't. You chose to lock blank in that crate. Where the freaking- Oh, dang. Okay. Cry yourself to sleep to that, Andy, my poor Andy. Dang, she is- She is- She is so bad. Holy crap, man. She's- bl Now she's- Well, I mean, again, it is also his fault that that girl died, right? But she's really just making it worse. That just came out of your mouth. It's true. You chose to do it, and you chose me. Yeah, she begged him, though. You chose me! You backpedaling freak of a brother! You chose me! You did! You did! Dang, this is so drama-filled. So I guess we're not leaving here together. You can't do it. You won't. You can't, because I'm the only one you can talk to. Then you can't sleep at night, and you can't take it. I'm the only one who can make it go away. Fancy that, when you're the reason I can't sleep in the first place. I would like to go now, with you, with Andy. I'm ready to go now. Go like blank did? Of course not, I want to leave this apartment before we get caught. With you, can we go? I'd like to go too, but the thing is, you're pissing me off so much right now. We go now and you'll just throw another fit later. Yeah, I probably will. I'll make such a scene too. Yeah, so I don't know if I can risk it. Maybe I'll just end you here and be done with it. Though if you can come up with a compelling reason not to, I won't. Well, I already said, there are sleeping pills for that. Yeah, okay, I got nothing, but I like to go with you very much. Though if you plan on ditching me, uh, then freak you. If it's not gonna be just the two of us, then forget it. I don't. Give a sh <laughs> Give a crap about- I'm glad she choked. I know you are. Yeah, so we don't know the girl's name for some reason. No one knows it was us, so what does it matter? As long as it's just us, are you saying you'll behave? I'll behave if you behave, isn't that how it goes? Who knows uh, with you, though I'm assuming we're getting out of here in the first place. That's right, our quest continues. So did we name this episode again? Uh, uh, Andy and... Okay, but I'm not going to be Andy anymore. He's so spineless. And I hate Laylee like you wouldn't believe. She better stay and die here with Andy. So you and I can leave. Fine, whatever that means in practice. I like you, but you're so exhausting. Nonsense, I'm invigorating. Let's leave and never revisit this conversation. Yes, I've got the keys to the second floor and also the warden's gun. I'm surprised you didn't shoot me yet. Maybe later. Let's get out of here, Andrew. They are so... They are so toxic, man. Like, it's crazy because... I guess with a past like that... It would be hard not to be, but they're, they're both actually insane. Like... It's, it's insane. Uh, look, an open window. Great, jump. 
Tempt me not, Andrew. I mean, it is only the second floor. You really don't want to take your chances with that. Isn't there like a rope or something we could use to climb down? Oh, do we have to find that? How about a plant? No? Thought that would work for some reason. Oh, the carpet. What about that? That would work. Hey, I'm so smart. All right, that's what they're going to do. Okay, so got the carpet. All right, so we need to secure the carpet. She had a nail gun, didn't she? Are you telling me that that wouldn't work? Oh, there it is. Okay, I was right. Okay, they used the nail gun. Uh, it didn't look safe. There has to be something else. I'm going for it. If nothing else, maybe the carpet slows my descent down. I mean, I guess. All right, you first then. All right, you go first. I'm a lady. You climb down unladylike. So what happens now? Well, is that we'll skip town and then find a buffet, a buffet restaurant. Then we'll steal someone's identity or something, uh, something to continue our lives. Easy peasy, huh? And then as long as we never come in contact with the law enforcement, we'll live a quiet life and die. You've got it all figured out. Good God, I have no idea what we're going to do, Ashley. First things first, skipping town and a buffet. Let's go to a real touristy location. Maybe some traveler will drop their ID. Then we'll rent a, a place using that. I'm sure we'll find some grunt work somewhere too. Uh, I even then, I don't think uh, that's going to happen. Shut your mouth, shut your mouth. It'll all work out. Less we'll live under a bridge or something. Like trolls, we'll eat those who don't pay the toll to cross. How can you laugh? It's anything but funny. How can you do anything else but laugh? Everything has gone to crap. Keep it together. I am. Let's start by catching a bus. I'm happy. I'm happy to be out of here too. And otherwise, I'm a hair away from a panic attack. Thanks for asking. I didn't get to tell you before, but the friend I called while you were downstairs gave me a gift. Do I even want to know? Supposedly, I shouldn't be seeing visions of the future, or should be seeing uh, visions of the future in my sleep now. But who knows? I hope you do. Uh, if anything, it'll be handy when it comes to avoiding certain things. So you can relax a bit. I'll keep my sleeping eyes open. But that also means you can't leave now. You're stuck with me. Nothing new under the sun. Stuck, huh? Are you... Oh, yeah, completely stuck. Uh, you get on a bus and drive the heck out of here. End of episode one. Okay, well that was something, huh? That was that was actually really insane. Very interesting though. I would like to see episode two. So if you, if you did enjoy this, do smash like, cause yeah, that was uh that was wild, man. Today's scrub of the day goes to Yee Mini Vinny.